The good thing though is that he had no idea that that's my number. He had no idea. Ciao guys and welcome back to Lambi. Let me remove my sunglasses. Um, yeah, you have seen it from the title. I've been wanting to let me say first i've been a little bit hesitant because i think a lot of these pranks that you see on youtube videos that are really nice and fun to watch i have a feeling when they probably also cause some damages in relationship uh, girls irritation and things like that so i've been very hesitant and i thought this one should be very simple maybe it should be easy for us to to do but it has been very difficult Number one, we are always like a belly and a belly button. Like we're always following each other. It's just difficult to know when, like, when can I do something for myself without Ali? We are always together. Number two, Ali's always at home. He works at home. Like I was like, okay, but what? Who am I going to be when I'm texting this? Since, I mean, he left Italy in January and since then, he has only been at home except then on weekends or maybe after work when we go out together. Otherwise, he's always working and his working space is at home. I was like, no, there's no way I'm just going to text and say, hey, I'm who, who I met you. Where? Like, where? <laughs> so, yeah, very difficult. But today, I think we got something. Now, the other thing is you're probably wondering, yeah, but whose phone number are you using? It's not a problem. I have, I think I have like four or five different numbers apart from my real number because I always, I'm always buying like um, different cards. Whenever I see like a, a, a very nice um, European Union internet thing and I'm going on vacation, I always get me a card that I can always use apart from my normal contract and i'm going to use one of those numbers today and see it just usually when we argue i'm always just it, it's like normal that after an argument or when we are arguing i just stand up and go somewhere so i don't think he's expecting anything because i do it all the time literally all the time also because uh, when you live together you have you get into so many stupid arguments. We are arguing about cooking lunch and if we should cook pasta with to the other person wanted it with tomato, the other one wanted it without tomatoes. And I mean, how much, how long can you argue about that? It's stupid. So you might as well just get out of the house, go somewhere and have coffee. In the meantime, both of you realize how stupid that was, and then go back home. You don't have to continue that conversation. So yeah, that's why I'm out. And I thought, thought I should really get fish. Ali and see how he's going to if he, if he's even going to respond especially when he's pissed about something or well, about me obviously because we're arguing or, but I'm thinking I'm a little bit nervous because I think it's one of those things that maybe you don't want to know what his response is I never literally even ever gone through my my husband's phone or anything before I think there's no need, but you you also know, it's like, you know, it's one of those things when people say, don't look for problems. If you're looking for them, you're going to find them. So I feel like, why am I being, I might, I might create a huge argument or even, I know, I don't even want to think about the West. I'm just trying to be nice and positive. So let me see. Yeah, I need to... Now I need to think of what would I actually test somebody. I can't even remember the last time I was, I was, you know, on a date with a new person. You literally don't know. It's more, so many years ago. It's like nine years ago when I met Alice. So I'm thinking, what would be best for me to say without him realizing that it's lame? Because although we don't text each other very much, I think if I just write something natural for me, he would know that it's me. Let me look for his number and then I enter it in my in my other phone. And that I just sent a text. 
I don't think I should send a WhatsApp because the WhatsApp will be like, I feel like if somebody, although a WhatsApp also goes through, but I feel like if they don't have you in their contact, they might not really respond. But yet, a text message, who texts people now with text messages. So I would do a WhatsApp. I would definitely do a WhatsApp. So yeah, so usually I'm always like, I have no way to meet new people like that will probably just take random apart from people he works with but recently since like a week or so is is attending an online course that has I think in that course there are about 30 people of which as far as I understand um I would say about 90 percent of those people in the class are ladies so I don't think it's going to be awkward if one of these ladies texting, <laughs> is texting him some, something. But I, okay, first, I really have to do, I now have to, I don't even know what I'm going to say. I now to probably need to Google something how to, uh, at, I don't know, attractive or should I say like romantic catfish? <laughs> romantic catfish okay you know google is an answered romant romantic texts to your boyfriend yes romantic text to him so what what can i text actually here 120 romantic messages for your loved one it's not like a yeah 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 It's not helping me so much. It's like this is for people that are dating. It's just I would just say for 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 meeting him the first time. I don't know. For meeting, let me see. Okay, let me say romantic text to a guy you just met. Okay, you yeah, you know, Google helps all the stuff. How to text a guy you just met? Super, it's here. I'm <laughs> going to learn something that I should have learned before. Okay, Spajan, let's go. I'm just gonna because I can't come. I can't come up with things. I think I can write here. So don't wait to text him. Where is the text? I really enjoyed today. We should go out again. This is bullshit. It's not going to work for this video. What else is here? Hey Ted, shall we watch a movie this weekend? I just don't think this, but let me see if I find something that I think, ah, oh, this is already the end of it. It's not helping me. I think I know what I'm going to say. Okay, so here's like, good morning, handsome. Been thinking of you all day. Can't wait to see you later. Hi, how are you doing? Morning, handsome. Da, da. But this is not going to help me. I think I should write something like, hey. Hey Alessandro, I'm I really like you. I'm your secret that it's like too much. Yes, I would just say hey hey um, do you have a moment to talk? I'm secret and then I say secret admire from your whatever cost is doing. So let me see if it works. So we are here. We say so I'm going to add like a hello and you know like an emoji like here with the the one with the love thing and then what next should I write like hello there um I'm curious about it um do you have a moment I would just say do you have a moment I'm dumb why didn't I just get one of those ladies name from the course like a first name would have made sense right but I didn't I wasn't paying attention <laughs> It's also like I'm not like a nosy person. I feel like if it just come to Alice computer going through his thing, he's just going to think, Let me what what are you up to today? <laughs> do you have I would say okay, hey, uh, do you have a moment? No, okay, let me just say hey. No, you know what? I'm gonna say hey, I really like you. Um your secret admire from yeah, from the course, then I'll say, can you guess? But I, I don't even know what, where this, it's bad. Oh, okay, but let me send, yeah. Hey, Alessandra. Really like you. Let me see. I hope he doesn't reply. 
Then I'm adding some emojis. Emoji. Emo During my dating time, there was not even WhatsApp. There was mainly like SMS and you just text like to one three zero or something you pay a dollar and you get a romantic message and you forward to your boyfriend that was super easy oh no this is going to be very difficult i really really like you I want to chat okay so i would say hey i really like you do you have a moment to chat okay Ooh, i sent Okay, I hope I even, I hope I sent the right number. I just say like, hey, Alessandro, really like you. What are you up to this weekend? Very really good, mate. Um, you know, there's somebody who likes you from our new online because I say it like that. Because I didn't want to give a name. I wanted to think of a common name. Maybe Eva, I don't know, something. Or Lempi wouldn't be common. No, Lempi would just definitely going to be like, it's me. I know something, but I, it will be weird also if I send with a name and the, there's nobody with that name in the class. It would just be weird. Like, I haven't been anywhere in the past six months, so definitely, what the hell. Anyway, I'll be waiting on that. And while I'm waiting on that, I just wanted to talk about also something very funny. I hope, I hope he resp I don't know. I, I hope he doesn't respond. But if he responds, I'm also, the other side of me is like a little bit curious about it. How is he going to respond? I want to, I don't even know what I'm going to do with that information. Like, I just hope I'm not going to be pissed at the end of this when I get a text. If I get it, if I get a text back, I might be pissed. Anyways. <laughs> so I was just, I went to run some errands today. After I left the whole, after I left the whole house and, um, uh, I went to the Mercedes-Benz like service center and, and I just saw it's really weird not only at the where I was but uh, also at the bus stations and in some shops when you enter most old people they I think they have really problem breathing with these masks on and also pay attention most people don't have the professional mask like this with the with a with a filter they have just the normal one from the cloth so most people especially the old one they wear they wear them like this and they wear them like this so literally the mask is just covering the the mouth part and so when i was at the service there was like an old guy and then the 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 person was assisting him came to him and was like put on your mask so the guy literally did this and like and the guy was there, put on your mask, like, I have it on. Because, and I can understand, even for me as a young person, it's very difficult. And I have worked with this stuff already before when I was a student, when I was maybe grinding plant samples and things like that. I've worked with this, but I know it's very difficult to breathe in here. And if you're an older person who maybe have already breathing problems, it's going to be even extra harder to to breathe in that but we have you know we have a situation going through so we have to stick to the rules and make sure that we are safe and far away from people like other like strangers i mean you can't be far away from people that you're living with just if you're outside your living space you want to be at least a meter and a half or to two meters away from people that you're just meeting outside I think this is not working. I don't even think I, I thought he was actually going to work. I, <laughs> I thought this was going to work and work very fast because obviously he's just at home and he is a little bit pissed. So I thought but I don't even think he's checking. I don't know, he's not responding. Could be like he's realized that I did this already. Could be. I feel like I'm going to continue driving. Because I'm just on the roadside in the middle of nowhere. I'm going to drive home. And check if anything, if he has responded anything by the time I get to the garage and respond back. If not, oh, sad. Not really said good. It's good to know that mm, we have a good relationship. He's not even responding. 
maybe just because he knows it's me, that's why he's not responding. Maybe a random girl, he would have responded. But he doesn't know that's me. He doesn't know that me. I'm 100% sure he doesn't have this number. Okay, it would be weird to try with another number, but I would try with no, another time with another number because I still have another, maybe two or four cars that I can still try. I drove for about, <laughs> let me say about 15 minutes. No response yet. However, two minutes ago, Ali gave me a call. So I'm actually thinking, what have I done? Either he's probably super, super pissed <laughs> because he probably realized it's me. Oh, I don't know. But he gave me a call. I'm serious. I don't know. I didn't pick it up because I was driving and I'm just not sure what to say. But I can see there's a missed call here from... So there's a missed call here from Alessandro. I'm curious. I didn't pick it up. I was like, I was a little bit surprised. I'm like, what am I going to say? So what am I going to say? I'm going to say I'm still at Mercedes. And I will just try to say I didn't send you a message. It's going to be a little bit difficult to say. Hmm. Let me hear you. Hey, babe, you were trying to call me. What's up? Yeah, did you send me a text? No, did you? What do you mean? You sent me a text, uh, the one that for uh, the for the video, like uh, I, you are an, a secret admirer from uh, the course, uh, and uh, you wanted to meet me this weekend. You receive a text from somebody like that? Yeah. Like who? I have no idea. I thought it was you. I think it still is you, but why? Uh, what? Uh, what? Uh, which cell phone did you use? It's. N babe, I literally just left Mercedes now. That's why when you called, I didn't even pick up. Okay. Then we will discover it together when you come back home, okay? Did you respond? No, I didn't respond to the message. I just thought you had that it, it was the, the, the text trial for for the things because there's somebody that know about the beam course, so it can only be you, baby. Just tell me it's you. Come on. It can only be you. No, what did the text really say? What did it say? He say, says, I'm a secret admirer from the, from the course, uh, um, from the what? The pop course or the, the big, uh, big course or something like that, that is even mistaken because it's not that. So the only one that you can, that can know that I am doing this course is you. Could, could it be really somebody from the class? Raquel, they don't even have my number. Are you sure? Because I am a little bit suspicious. <laughs> ay, 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 baby, please. Just tell me, are you recording for the video? No! Uh, I don't know if you're lying or not. Okay, just uh, waiting I, for you to come home. Should I start investigating you or something? Uh, <laughs> I think so. Investigate and then let me know. Okay? Okay, I'm coming home soon. <laughs> okay. A bottle of wine, please. Ooh. Bye. Literally, this is didn't go the way I expected. I think Ali got the message and just thought, who else could text me? <laughs> what the hell? Ah... I think when you've been really living together for so long, it's so difficult. Like, it's also very difficult to pull off anything like a surprise. You just never get it right. It's like, if I leave home without Ali, something is already suspicious. And then, if I leave if I leave home with, with a YouTube camera that I only use when I'm recording something, 
it's suspicious. So even if I'm really trying to convince him that I didn't do nothing, I think he's like pretty sure. He also said, this is so dumb. This is so dumb. He also said, you know, the the name of the course is spelled in the wrong way. So it could only be me because I'm, I don't think somebody who's attending the course would spell it in the bad way. So it, it could only be me. Dumb. <laughs> But I would just go home and see. The good thing though is that he had no idea that that's my number. He had no idea, which is good. You know, that's a tick. For that one, I give myself a tick. The rest, no, no. Next time, make sure that you know a name of a person in the course. Next time, make sure that you know the name of the course and spell it right. And next time, don't spell so much. Don't send so much writings. You know, when I'm doing this, I'm really thinking few weeks ago, we spoke about uh, really when the relationship's not going right and you break up or you divorce after several years of being married and things like that. And I I'm just thinking about, we have been together for eight years and I'm thinking about how difficult is it now for me to catfish Ali? Like, how difficult is it going to be for me to go back in the dating game again and send, you know, a guy a text and things like it's hmm, it's not easy like you you kind of just i don't know you kind of just have you don't know how these things work anymore i'm not sure how i'm going to enter the house though because uh, if i enter with the camera then he know right away it's going to be it was definitely me <laughs> if i don't enter with the camera i don't know how i'm going to record everything else the moment I take, because I usually don't really go out with the camera and I'm sweating like hell and I sweat a lot because I was super, super nervous about the whole thing and lying to my husband that texting that I'm somebody else. I'm happy that he didn't respond anything terrible or nasty or something like that. But I'm sweaty. I was super nervous about this one. Super, super nervous. Outside my comfort zone. Like, where was I torturing myself? But we are here. Let me look for my car keys. And then... Yes, yeah, so let's go and see how everything is going to go down. I'm back. I'm actually making a new vlog about everything about my day where I was today. Are you excited about it? Yes, I am. Really. <laughs> what are you up to? Now, talk to me about this girl that was texting you. Yeah, this girl that is texting me, I'm doing actually. The online course that I'm doing, I'm telling you, I have some suspect. I think I, I know who she is. Hello there with only one L. I really like you. What are you up to this weekend? P.S. Secret admire from the VIP VIP course, which is Beam course. Yeah, but if, an error could be an error. <laughs> Please, baby, just you know, it's so obvious that it's you. No, tell me what. How is it obvious? I, no, I just it didn't it didn't really work. Well. I was, <laughs> no. didn't work it out well. You didn't tell it through because uh, you misspell <laughs> the things. You are the only one that know my number. Nobody in this course knows my number. Oh, I thought they knew. That's why I thought the person from the course would be the safest thing person to say because uh, they were not. Yeah. No, but it was not me. Now I'm just really going to start investigating you. Yeah, I see. So can I call the number, right? I think so. Okay, let's call, <laughs> let's call the number and see. And see. Okay. I hope it doesn't ring somewhere in the from your course. Uh -huh. I don't even think, to be honest. Is it ringing? Not good. <laughs> <laughs> so the secret admirer is in the house, I guess. We have to search the house. Okay. Oh, the secret admirer is in my bag. In bag. <laughs> I thought this through and I thought 
this amazing it should work really well Ali is now doing a course and obviously now when you're doing a course you have people that you've met <laughs> Ay, 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 ay. anyway guys that was it from me and us and today Bucino. no that was it guys see you in our next video ciao 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 ciao, ciao.